Okay, hi guys, uh, we're back again and we're going to have a look at something else I just picked up today. Uh, it's been a long time coming so I'm really excited to have a look inside this. As you can see I've already removed the packaging. It was uh, sealed twice for some reason. But uh, I'm sure it was because there's so many zombies inside. Uh, okay, so as you can see, here's the rule book, but we'll look at that a little bit later. First of all, let's have a look what's inside. So, as you can see from the front, we've got a berserker, and he's got some Iron Watch guys behind him and some ghouls and zombies. So, I'll probably tell you what's coming. Uh, and inside, first up, we have something inside this lovely bubble wrap, and it is a berserker hero. I don't know whether or not you can make him out. Let's see if it makes any better if I put him on my hand. There you go. Pretty nice model. I've already got one of these, but I'm going to paint this guy up a little bit differently. Maybe a bit more grungely. Grungely? A bit more grungy. There we go. And uh, he will be fighting the enemies inside the dungeon. So, we've got him. Uh, we have a sprue here, which is some dwarf iron watch uh, they come with the uh, rifles or the crossbows very good some add doors to add to my collection we have these guys which are some elf archers uh, come with both a bow and a sword I think they're scouts actually there you go elf scouts it's at the bottom some elf scouts we have some undead ghouls, mantic undead ghouls, which are fantastic models. Uh, I see a lot of people using them for their vampire counts in Warhammer. Very nice models. Then we have some more ghouls. I like this sort of like Freddy Krueger style hand at the side. I don't know you can make that out. Very cool. Next up is a sprue of Le Zombie, Le Zombies. Very nice. They even given us, yes, they've even given us a, a, a little one to do one that's been cut up and he's on the floor. Lovely. Those would be nice to uh, put together, I think. Ah, glorious tiles. Uh, in this, obviously, we get some more tiles. We've got some more rage tokens, some more wounded tokens. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what those red ones are, but uh, and these are very nice. Look at these, some ice tiles. I, I was lucky enough to go and uh, see these before they came out, actually, at uh, Mantic in Nottingham. Uh, and it's great that they tell us this cool story. So we've got the footprints here. The blood splatters, the body of something massive there, uh, crystalline things here, some kind of arcane ruin. Certainly makes for uh, evocative gameplay, makes a difference from normal dungeon tiles, I suppose. Um, it also sort of hints towards what's in the future as well. So I know that they're planning to bring out things like trolls, which would be called bogeys in Mantic's world, and uh, also some werewolves as well. So that'll be fun. So that's the tiles. We've got the obligatory mantic points, which will be going towards something impressive, no doubt. And then uh, that's pretty much all that's in the box. So let's have a look back at the rule book. Now, obviously, in Ancient Grudge, this is a lot different from the other expansions. Well, the expansion, anyway. Uh, in that, that had a lot of models and, and everything like that, and it cost about 30 quid or something. So, But this is different because it allows you to sort of manipulate what you've already got in two different ways. So, as we look through here, we've got shooting rules, which are always important. Now, this is important. Modifying scenarios. You can change it so you can play any of the scenarios with different size. So, one that would be between dwarves and the dead is now between dwarves and orcs, or dwarves and elves, and any combination of above. Uh, and then, as well as that, you can make warbands. Warbands are basically a group of adventurers that you make up yourself, including a hero and some of his lackeys, 
As you can see here, here's some of the lackeys. We've got the Skeleton Warriors, Revenants, Warriors of the Dwarf kind, Bowmen, Axe Troops, Orcs, and lots of Orcs. Um, and obviously, as you can see here, we've got a points cost here. What else have we got? Ah, here we go. New Adventurers. Ooh, there's the werewolf. Don't worry, you can see that. You've got a werewolf there, a bogey there, it's a big troll. And you've got heroes here like Prince Vulbar of the Dwarves and Zufl R Ruf Rulaf the Mad of the uh, Berserker kind. The damage tables there for everyone. Got uh, some more rules here. For bogeys and such, the driller. More orc rules. Some spells. Ooh, and then we've got three and four player games. How to play massive games of this on big, huge tile sets. And whoa, well, there you go. There's the uh, map, one of the first adventures, which is for three, three players. Yes. And they've got one here for four players. Wow. Pretty awesome. And there you go. Oh, here we go. Reload counters there for the guns. There you go. That was simple enough. Should have looked at that first, shouldn't I? But there you go. Uh, that is Ancient Grudge. Uh, a fantastic sort of semi-expansion, semi-rule set for uh, Dwarf King's Hold. Um, I hope you go out and buy this because it will be an awesome addition to your uh, collection and allow you to do some Mordheim style warband fighting with Mantic models. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, comment below, tell me what you think of it if you've got it yourself and uh, I'll see you again soon.